Let's meet the starters for the third race. Number one, Arlene's Rose, owned by Clark Fairley of Lerna. And by Marlene Fairley of Charleston, trained by Clark Fairley. And Clark is in the bike. Number two, winning Warriors, owned by Bill Wright of Morton, Homer Hankey of Morrow, and Donald Coleman of Lebanon, Illinois. Trained by Irvin Miller, the driver is Andy Miller. Number three, Heather Valley is owned by Duncan Foundry Machine Works Incorporated of Alton, trained by John Cisna, the driver, Tim Bredberg. Number four, One Glorious Day, is owned by the Horseman's Financial Agency Incorporated and Premier Racing Stable of Mark Benrus of North Aurora, Illinois, trained and driven by Dirk Simpson. Number five is Cash Our Way, owned by Mike Titus of Charleston, Stan Holsapple of Toledo, trained by Steve Wagner, Tom Tetrick in the bike. 6MA Speedy, owned by Willie Jones of Jackson, Mississippi, trained and driven by Mike Rogers. Number seven, She Will March On is scratched. Number eight, Tasty Chip, owned by Robert and David Anderson of St. Thomas, Ontario, trained and driven by Sweden's Jimmy Tactor. Number nine, Nan's Crown, is owned and trained by Glenn Sniff of Westby, Wisconsin, the driver Connell Willis. And number 10 will be Saffron Job, owned by Kathy Rutherford and Tim Busker of Justice, Illinois, in the Chicago suburbs, trained and driven by Kathy Rutherford. The first trifecta race of the day at DuCoin is four minutes from post time. It's rolling. Here they come. They are off and trotting. Cash our way from between horses has early speed. Tasty Chip is there along with Heather Valley down toward the inside and then winning Warrior against the rail. Into the first turn, Heather Valley and Cash our way come to the front as a team. Winning Warrior is third toward the inside. Saffron Job is three wide midway on the first turn and is now moving up into fifth outside of Tasty Chip who moves up two spots into third. Cash our way has the lead and gets over toward the rail at the quarter mile mark. Tasty Chip moves up into second. Heather Valley goes third. Winning Warrior fourth, and Saffron Job on the outside of One Glorious Day, the opening quarter in 30 and one fifth. Tasty Chip moves up to get the lead now on the back stretch. Tasty Chip leads it a length. Cash our way second by two. Heather Valley is racing third a length and a half. And then winning Warrior, Saffron Job, who's still parked. One Glorious Day just went off stride. Nan's Crown moves past that one. Further back, it's Arlene's Rose next to last. And M.A. Speedy, the trailer, a dozen lengths off the lead. At the half, it is Tasty Chip leading Cash our way by a length. They got the half in 59 and one. It is Tasty Chip, Cash Our Way, Heather Valley winning Warrior and Nan's Crown, the top five, followed by M.A. Speedy, Saffron Job, Arlene's Rose, and One Glorious Day is last. Midway on the far turn, Tasty Chip leads it by two lengths. Now by three lengths at the three quarters, Cash Our Way second by two, Heather Valley third, winning Warrior fourth, a gap of five more back to M.A. Speedy, Nan's Crown, and Arlene's Rose. They got the three quarters in 127, and Tasty Chip, the Kentucky bred filly turns for home with a five length lead. Cash our way second by four. And then Heather Valley and winning Warrior on the outside, followed by M.A. Speedy as they move through the stretch. Inside the eighth pole, it is all Tasty Chip. The lead is some six lengths back to Cash our way. And then Heather Valley moving up on the outside to take second. Tasty Chip is going to win it. And Tasty Chip is home on top by 10 lengths. Heather Valley second, Cash our way third. The time, 1.55 and four. Number eight, Tasty Chip. Jimmy originally from Sweden where his father, Bo, trained and drove horses and Bo Tactor considered one of the leading horsemen in Europe. So Jimmy grew up around the sport Jimmy has been to Victory Lane before at DuCoin. One of his most memorable wins here as a trainer was when he trained in Joy Levesque to an upset win in the World Trotting Derby a few years ago with his brother, Johnny Tactor, driving. Folks, how about a hand for Mr. Jimmy Tactor out of Sweden with number eight, Tasty Chip. Robert and David Anderson of St. Thomas, Ontario, the owners of that pine chip filly. This Kentucky bred was bred by... Castleton Farm for many, many years, the leading standard bread nursery in North America before disbanding operations a few years ago. The rundown is next. <laughs> 